RAII, or Resource Acquisition is Initialization, is a programming concept used primarily in C++ and other resource-constrained languages. It focuses on the management of resources like memory, file handles, network connections, etc. in a way that ensures they are acquired and released safely and automatically. But what is RAII? In simple terms, RAII ensures that resources are tied to the lifetime of objects. When an object is created, it acquires the necessary resources, and when it goes out of scope, for example, it's destroyed, it releases those resources. This is done automatically without the need for explicit resource management like using malloc or free and open or close. Okay, so what are the core principles of RAII? Number one is resource acquisition. When an object is created, it acquires the necessary resources it needs. For example, when opening a file, the constructor of the file handling object opens the file. And number two is resource release. When the object goes out of scope, typically when it goes out of the current function scope or is explicitly deleted, its destructor automatically releases any resources it holds. For example, when the object is destroyed, it closes the file or frees the memory. So why is RAII important? With RAII, there's no need to explicitly call functions like close or delete, which reduces the risk of forgetting to release resources. The cleanup happens automatically when the object's lifetime ends, preventing resource leaks. So RAII guarantees that resources are always released even if an exception occurs. For example, if an exception is thrown after an object is created, but before it's destroyed, the object's destructor will still run, ensuring proper resource cleanup. And with RAII, resource management becomes implicit. You no longer have to write complex cleanup code in each function or worry about managing resources manually. Let's take a look at this simple C++ example that demonstrates RAII. Okay, first let's take a look at the constructor. When the file handler object is created, the constructor is going to open the file. And now let's take a look at what happens when the file handler object goes out of scope at the end of main. Its destructor gets called, which automatically closes the file. So the developer never has to worry about calling close explicitly, as the resource is automatically released when the object is destroyed. And RAII is more commonly used in the real world than you might expect. Smart pointers like stud unique pointer and stud shared pointer in C++ automatically release memory when they go out of scope. And as seen in the example above, files are automatically closed when an object goes out of scope. Mutexes and locks are another example of RAII, where the lock is acquired when the object is created and the lock is released when the object is destroyed. There's lots of key benefits of RAII. It ensures that resources are always properly released when no longer needed. It avoids resource leaks, even in the case of exceptions. And it minimizes the need for explicit resource management code, which makes the code base cleaner and easier to maintain. RAII is a powerful and elegant technique that makes resource management both simple and robust. It automates the process of acquiring and releasing resources by tying them to the lifetime of objects which reduces human error and improves safety, particularly in environments where resource management is important. If you learned something new in this video, please leave a like and comment down below. And if you want to stay updated for future videos just like this one, consider hitting the subscribe button as well as the bell icon to receive notifications. As always, thank you very much for watching this video and happy coding!